Today, we've got a Josh's Frogs unboxing video. So the last one I did was Jess Bugs. I'll link that above here in the description box below if you wanna check that one out. But this one, we've got an even bigger box and we're unboxing bugs, plants, and dry goods. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the majority of this order should be plants. And usually I will go to a local nursery to get my plants, but I figured I'd try buying plants online and seeing how that goes. I want to get more like kind of tropical e plants. Where's the, there it is. So I figured Josh's Frogs would be a good place to check out. So I'm curious to see what it looks like. Like how do they ship plants? Let's find out. Okay, so we have the box and on top we have a lot of paper. Ooh, there's dirt. Okay, a lot of dirt falling out of that. Okay, and in addition to plants, I got some wax worms because they were on sale. So this should be a 50 count of wax worms. So these make a great treat for chameleons and then they can pupate and hatch into wax moths, which is kind of fun. Um, we've got some care sheets. This is good, whoa! So, thank you for your business, you're welcome. Got receipt. Okay, so I'm gonna hang on to this because this has a bunch of the plant names and I don't know how to pronounce almost any of these, <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Flip you around, but there they are. Got plants down here. So let's start unboxing these. Okay, so I don't know where the top or the bottom is. Ooh. First plant, if I can open it. Oh geez, why is this so difficult? <laughs> okay, oh it's so little. There we go. They taped the top of the plants, I'm guessing so the soil doesn't come out. I'll put the name of the plant on the screen here so you guys can check it out, but that's the first one. And then let's move right on in. Okay, we've got one that's poking out. I think this one is the, oh, I'm gonna butcher this. Raphidora tetrasperma guinea mini monstera. I think that's this one. Oh man. Look how cool that is. Okay, so this is a big green leafy one. And this one should grow big theoretically and then the leaves should split. Like give these little you know, I'll put a picture of a, an adult one on the screen here, but there's the other one. Oh man, there's so many guys. There goes a leaf. This one is the begonia. Um, this is the fedor color, I believe. Look how cute that one is. Okay, there's that one. Move this over here so you guys can see the plants as we collect them. So this is a calithia, and this is a rose oak. Picked a rosy, so this one's labeled because I bought the variety pack, so it's like the grower's choice where they just pick three and send them to me. Oh, and <laughs> my blue bottle fly spikes showed up. So those are the other bugs that I got were those guys. Oh, I'm so excited for these. Okay, so again, they taped the top. Beautiful, beautiful leaves on this one. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited for these guys to get bigger. But there should be two more, just like different colors of this one. Up next, let's see what we have. I realized that I was filming and you guys couldn't see these, so I pulled them back. So this is what we've unboxed so far. Let's keep it going. Oh man, I 
don't know what kind this one is. Ooh, this is one of the, um, the vines. So this one, um, I believe is the mm -hmm, silver ribbon fern or um, Pictures Critica albolanida. Ada? <laughs> so this is a vine fern. So this should grow big and viney in the enclosure. So that'll be great. So we've got like the big one for the bottom, some filler plants, some color, and then the viney is where we're at so far. We still have a lot more to go. Oh, this one is this one's cousin. What is it? Um, don't want to forget the name. A begonia, and this one is in red kiss. So you can see it's very red leaves in there. So you guys can see these are the same type of plant, but this one is um, a different color than this one. All right, I did. I really wanted to get some like more tropical-y pops of color, you know, to throw in the enclosure. Oh, here's the other, the other fern. So I got two of these, one for Apollo's enclosure and one for Luna's enclosure. We've got one, two, three, four more to go. Okay, this is another one of the. Um, Calatheas. So this is Roseopicta Mendelian. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow, look, that has such a big leaf already. This one's gorgeous. So as you can see, it's already got some, it's got these colored lines throughout the leaf, which I think is cool. What's exciting is it's already got a new leaf growing. These guys are going to get pretty big and I'm pretty stoked. Okay, here's the other Calithia. Well, I'm going to save this one for last because I'm excited for that one. Okay, let's see what this one's going to be. Okay, here is another fern, I believe. This should be the uh, lemon button fern or nephrolepis. Cordifolia. Look how nice that is. This is another fern, so it should grow up the back of the enclosure to fill it out. It's one of the ferns. I'll put the, the correct names on the screen after I cross-reference what I got. This is another fern. So this will grow on the bottom of the enclosure and really fill it out. They do better with lower light. You know, like a fern is gonna be at the bottom of the forest, so. That's this one. I think this one doesn't smell lemony. Maybe the lemon button fern, but we'll see. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And last but not least, we have Calathea lancifolia rattlesnake plant. That's a cool name. Okay, let's see, let's see. Guys, I'm so excited. So excited. Oh yeah, okay, definitely the best for last. I mean, with a name like Rattlesnake. Guys, look at those leaves. Like, how cool are those? So this is a rattlesnake. So you've got purple on the bottom and then the stripey, and they're kind of this wavy, ripply. Oh, I'm so excited. These are gonna be awesome. So as you can see, I kind of went with a mostly green, obviously because they're plants, but then I tried to get pops of red. These three were surprises because it was just a variety pack. And then we also got the wax worms and the blue bottle fly spikes. And we got some dry goods. So I got some extra tubing for my Miss King misting system. And then I got the dual nozzle. The Miss King comes with just the single nozzle, but I found the dual nozzle to have more coverage. So this is what it looks like. You guys can see. So you just plug in the hose here and here, and then you can adjust them to spray wherever direction you want. So I'm building out a new enclosure right now, and so I want to upgrade to the dual nozzle, so then I'll have two nozzles and then one nozzle, and that'll really cover the entire enclosure. I made a whole video on how to properly set up a plant for your enclosure, so I'll link that up above here in, in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments down below. Let me know which one of these plants was your favorite. 
Feel free to subscribe so you know when I post a new video and you can follow Neptune and all my chameleons on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye! Unboxed everything, which is pretty... Um, but this one... That sounded weird. If you enjoyed the video, I already said that. Oh my gosh. I can't talk.